Surface evaporation is a phenomenon that implies the process only occurs at the surface of a liquid. During evaporation, the molecules of the liquid at its surface beat the intermolecular forces to escape from the liquid into the atmosphere as a gas or a vapor. This process requires energy generally prepared by internal energy after being heated to its boiling point. When it comes to surface evaporation, the required energy is prepared by a concentration gradient at the liquid surface. That is why surface evaporation is taking place at every temperature. The problem arises when it gets to the simulation step by ANSYS fluent sulfur. In fact, the sulfur cannot take surface evaporation into account, so it needs to be defined by a user-defined function. As mentioned, there is a mass transfer rate from liquid to the gas phase at the interface, calculated by the equation shown below. The presented equation is extracted from an experimental investigation paper written by Pauken. The user-defined function is written for a semi-full tank containing water and air. It goes without saying that the multiphase model should be employed to simulate the problem. The mass transfer rate equation relates to the time step size, area density, air velocity, and the pressure difference between water and air. In our specific problem, the air velocity is zero and the pressure difference equals 12,352 pascal. Area density is also related to the mesh grid. It should be mentioned that the mass transfer equation has a pre-assumption relation which states that the difference between saturation pressure and molar ratio multiplied by cell pressure must be higher than zero. Plus, the molar ratio is equivalent to the pressure ratio. Therefore, the molar ratio multiplied by the pressure in each cell can give us the water pressure. To put it in a nutshell, thanks to the Flutter and his colleagues, the saturation pressure of water vapor is calculated as follows. This equation gives us the saturation pressure at a specific temperature. The presented UDF can be employed in order to simulate solar chimneys and desalination systems, humidifiers, boiling phenomena, shell and tube condensers, and in general, wherever surface evaporation occurs. You can easily get access to our CFD shop and find the suitable project you're looking for and also receive the complete UDF file.